Those are just finals, by the way. Yeah, let me just thank you for learning. Hold up! All okay. Right, here we go. We're starting off on battlefield. That's pretty uh, good. Oh, that's not a neutral start, Actually, but whatever. Well, yeah, this is kind of where every Fox Puff match starts, don't you think? Um, yeah, seems like yeah. accurate. So. So we're in neutral right now. Um, Snivy doing some short hops. Nairs to shine. And he's racking damage. He's following the game plan quite well. He's yep. using the combination of lasers and with the Puff. Ooh, that, there goes the stock. Yeah. So that's like that. Eh? That's low share. That's, that's low like share. That. That's and now we're at even game, but we're down to three stocks. Okay. Fox, Fox Puff, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, you all know how it goes. I'm pretty sure everyone's seen Mango versus Hungry Box. Have you? Of course. Yeah, I've seen a shit ton of Armada versus Hungry Box actually. Mango yeah. versus Hungry Box, I haven't seen too much. I've just seen a, like a lot of Armada. Mango gets bodied, but when he's playing on point, he's doing good. And, and that's then, the stop. And then Armada plays like super like. Optimal. So, what, what, what's your uh, what's your thoughts on this matchup? What do you think the odds are? Do you think it's in Fox's favor? Is it in Jig's favor? Is it even? I think Jig just has to do more. Yes. Because the Fox can Except when that happens. rack up damage with lasers, and all he needs is like he can kill the Puff a lot. Like he needs, he doesn't really need all that much percentage to get an up smash or an up air. I think it's puff. like I think at least if he gets him gets Puff at sixty, it's like. Of Smash kills. Because from my understanding of Smash, like the conception was always like Fox super uh, one against Puff. It was like 70-30. Yeah. But with Hungry Box, that's kind of changed, and I think people have put a notice on that. That was a quick game. That was a minute and a half. That was very fast, especially for Fox's. Um, well, actually, no. Puff, Fox Puff matches are any every time there's a Fox on the field, the matches go by pretty fast. Okay, so on that match, I feel like. The platforms were assisting Snivy a little too much, and the Jigs wasn't ready for it. Yeah. But now we're on Fountain, and this is a totally different game, different and it's a totally different start. We saw Drew start. go to Dreamland on his counter pick. I wonder if Fountain of Dreams. I feel like that was a bad punish. If Snivy would have lasered and then up smashed, that would have been a lot more damage. But now Jigs is just sitting at 37. Okay, so we're on game two. Game two. We're on game two. We're on Fountain. Jigs has a stock lead. We're neutral. We're on this guy sitting next neutral. to us now. We're gonna have three-way combo. This is gonna be like Smash Con. Ooh. Ooh. Who's at my uh, whiteboard? <laughs> <laughs> the, the TK Breezy whiteboard, yes. Okay, yeah. Anyway, so nice that was a good raw nice smash, and uh, that was a bad trade for Jake's since Fox makes a bad. I imagine with Puff, you hate getting percentage yeah, on you because it makes it so much easier for the yeah. Fox to get the setups necessary to kill. Oh my God. Look at the stacks, Brock. Smash Club's Ooh. got going down. So Jason did a raw get up, but then was able to shield in time to shield the up smash. Come on. Oh, that was a really good ledge attack. Oh, come on. That was very sure. Oh, no. Squeaky no, squeaky no, no, like this. Not like this. It's okay, though. He's got 85% of the box. He can still uh, continue to build on his lead. All he needs is a good up, a back air off ledge. Oh, that works. That's right there, yeah. So this is the best out of five set. So right now. So yeah, he's like like even if Squeaky Falters, um, you can get just that last little piece of information like, oh, yeah. doing this and that, and like, you can adjust. Yes. But you never really want to fall into it. <laughs> no, you want to mix up, that you want to mix up everything uh -huh. all the time. Like, even in best of, like, threes, when I go, like, when I lose the first game, my confidence gets shattered pretty good, let alone best of, like, five. Yeah, that does happen to a lot of players, but right now, Squeaky is looking pretty confident yeah, in this match. Yeah, Squeaky's got his eyes on the prize. Even though he's down a game. You make a tiny spark look like that. So, I feel like if Jigs is below the platform yeah. and Fox is above it, yeah. uh, crouch cancel down tilt just wrecks Fox. Oh yeah, if oh, we'll put back him at an angle that would be impossible to recover from. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. That was um, that was a bad, a very tough angle. Bad recovery. But you know, like he could have like maybe angled it more diagonally, but then he would have got hit by the puck. Maybe. I don't, I don't know. Nope, that's not gonna reach. Two of my percent. Yeah. But if um, the Fox up through on the platform, I feel like it would have caught up a lot faster. Yeah. Okay, so we're in neutral right now, and Fox with the pressure. Ah, that was actually pretty smart. Sometimes just sticking shield is the best option because when your opponent throws something at you, you're kind of eager to punish. But a lot of things in Smash are a bait, so you gotta hold on to that shield and wait. For your opponent's plan to sort of unravel before you make an act out of it. Yeah. So, I just kind of noticed that because, like, that's what I'm trying to prove on my game. Is just Ooh, that's game two. Squeaky 2 game two. 
Let's go. So, so now we're on game three. The inevitable Pokemon Stadium counter pick. Yeah, this is a really good stage for Fox. Yeah, I feel like Alex um, like, kind of picked this last time. So, what Jigglypuff really wants to do is platform track Fox, make a miss attack, okay. and then get a, a, re a reset to rest. Yeah. Jigglypuff does, or Hungrybox does it a lot. I'm not sure it's sque that's squeaky style. He's more of a patient back there type. Yeah. Ooh, Plus, that was a mix up. Plus, has a lot of confidence too. Like, some Fox is a very fast character, so that'd be a very tight window to sort of do that in, I just think. That is a tight window. Yeah. Like squeaky would like I don't know squeaky. like he could do it but he risks himself getting hit by some else. Or so. Yeah, Jilly Puff eats mistakes. Fox makes mistakes. Yeah, it's a pretty, it's pretty good fight. Yeah. Yo, dude, good game. Yeah, peace out, man. Ooh, that was almost a shield break, but. Squeaky didn't. No one wants to see a yeah, well, squeaky. Actually, everyone wants to see a punch. Right? Squeaky should have either light shielded, tilt, tilted light shield to defend the attacks. I always love when people like come straight out of the platform, like when they die and then they take a stock immediately. Like he just did there. Like he just went straight off the platform, did a back air, and it killed. Him. Really uh, anyway, yeah, so yeah, people have some bunches to catch. Apparently, I'm Man. planning on walking back. I want the exercise. So I'm yeah, it's pretty nice outside. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this layout is not gonna assist uh, Jigglypuff in the slightest. I mean, he, Jigglypuff might get lucky with like a platform trap or throw, but it's just stairway combos for Fox. In Pokemon's game, is it like a good idea to sort of like lean out the stages? Holding this L. <laughs> it's from my house. I brought, I brought an L to hold when I lost. Oh, well, that's actually pretty strong. It's, it's a pretty good joke. So on Smash 4, I need to start rocking straight now. So, <laughs> it's 1-1, one, one. we're one, on Pokemon one. Stadium, Snivy's up a stock, right and now he's up two stocks. He's at 72%, he's almost a death. It's it's crazy. It's like, like, huh. Between this set and the last set, I feel like this matchup must be kind of big. It is. It's because, it's like, it's tough, like, like, wins on Dreamland and Fountain, maybe, and then Fog. I've actually read one. somewhere that I think Mango or, uh... Armada will actually throw games in Grand Finals against like, Jubilee Puck on certain stages just to like get the counter pick again, right? Yeah. Because like there's a rule where you can't play on a stage you won. So if Jubilee Puck wins on Dreamland, you're safe. Yeah. Right? Right. But that is not the case this time because uh, Squeaky is on his last stock right now. That Ooh, that was an in player. Way you gotta go, but thank God it's a best of five. Yeah, he's got a hill to climb, but I believe in this man. He's... We saw Drew do it. He was down 2-1 and came brought it back. I believe Squeaky is number 4 on RPI? Drew? That's very strong. Squeaky is number shrug on RPI. And Alex is definitely number number 1. That's good to use that. Okay, Squeaky is 6 god. He's a 6 god Jigglypuff. Yes. He's the Jigglypuff that we need, but... But Snivy is number 1 on RPR, and... Oh, There's a now, reason why he's number see, one. Like, that's the tech chase we're talking about. He's reading the shit out of the box, uh, tech on Yeah, he is. And that's what you gotta do with Fox. You gotta, you just gotta frame trap him. Like, yeah. when he's open. Jigglypuff is a character you can't really get in on unless, unless she messes up. But if she back here, spaces her back here is really good. Yeah. That was a good trade. So, Squeaky got the, the lead. Ooh, that's that's dead. That was he had all his jumps. It looked jumps. like he hit the stage, like it was a stage spike. It was a stage spike. He could have teched, but I don't think he was I ready to see for that it. coming. So that would be really hard to react to. I saw it coming a mile away, but. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, okay. Nope. It's just um hard to read, man. So we're on third, first stock, second stock. The rest. Okay, now we're on the third stock. And the rest is. <laughs> it definitely is. Uh, I feel like Squeaky is trading not very well when he gets the rest because he does it at high percent, so out uh, Snivy can get the up smash. And I feel like Puff rest setups are best used when you have the stock advantage. Agreed. That is actually the perfect time yeah. because that way when you get punished, you still have the stock lead, right? Yep. It's like DK grabbing people with cargo throw and throwing them up off the battlefield. Does that happen in melee? To noobs, <laughs> but it still happened. Yeah, it's still 
Do you like money? No. Because he's not good at it. Because I've seen, like, I'm kind of new to this scene, but, like, I've seen stupid old, like, rods of, like, oh, yeah. him messing up being with, like, DK. Good times. Good times for a Smash 4 community. Yeah. But right now, this melee community is looking pretty lit because Snivy's up two games against Squeak. Yeah. Or one game against Squeak. Whoops. Yeah, there is. He's doing a good job with, like, I find, like, in melee, like, a lot of times people are quick to get, like, the read attack and then they get hit by the get up attack. Yeah, it is. Like, Squeaky... Okay, he got hit there, but, like, I feel like he's waiting it out a little bit better. He is, but he has a stage advantage right now, but it's not working out because this fox is adapting and camping him out. Yeah. The lasers and attack. Yeah, like... I always, like... I don't know. Like, he used to shine there. That's the set. And that's the set. So, shout to Snivy. He's going to get the run back against Drew. Oh, so, Drew's sitting in Grand Finals. Snivy versus Drew. And 